Hi again, everyone. This video is sponsored by contribution from Robin, and here's her story. Hey, Ali and everyone. I've been gone for a few months. I just wanted to give you an update. My narcs have decided to take me to court. I stopped allowing my parents' narcs to see my son in late July of 2016 due to observing my mother emotionally abusing my son the way she would do to me as a child. In December of 2016, my parents filed papers with the court to, in in court in order to force visitation. I, I don't know what state you live in that they force grandparent visitation. We did come up with an agreement, but that is not good enough. We recently had to go back to court because I refused to agree to the new terms they want. The judge has ordered that we have mediation by a third party. I also explained to the judge that I did observe my mother emotionally abusing my son as I was abused. I also told the judge I do not feel comfortable with my parents having any visitation at all because they should be happy with what they have and respect my wishes as his mother for what's best for him. Anyway, you all, don't, you all do not understand these psychos. If you have a feeling in the back of your mind that your narc may do such and such, guess what? It, that is what they are planning to do. Exactly. I've said that. You have to trust your gut. Okay? You're never surprised by what the narcissist does to you. You're angered by it. You're like, you're, you're shell-shocked by the incident. But you're not exactly surprised that it happened. Because you always know what's coming with the narcissist. You know it. You know it. Especially in custody cases like this. These people do not care about you or your family members. They only care about getting what they want. In my situation, going to mediation is a moot point. I refuse to allow these psychos to bully and control me any longer. That means I have to prepare myself because I know these individuals do not fight fair. We have to fight. We have to fight for our lives. Each and every one of us deserves to live a healthy, productive life. We do not have to just say, oh, well, I guess I have to deal with these narcs. They are my parents or my husband or uncle. It is our right as human beings to protect ourselves and our family members from these toxic, psychotic individuals. I am going to fight and I invite the rest of you to join me. Let's do this together. There is strength in numbers. It doesn't matter where you are with your narc or in your recovery. Make one small step for a better life each day or even each week. This can help gain our dignity back. We all know from watching Ali's videos that the narcs love the law. That way they pay someone to invent their famous word salads. They also love the law because they use it as a way to intimidate us because they think we are so stupid. When does it end, you may wonder? Never. It ends when you cut them out and you move away. When they die or if you're fortunate to be no contact and they cannot find you. Many prayers to all of you dealing with your own situation and the strength to fight a little each day. It's tough, but we have the power to decide how this turns out. Let's make it happen. Much love and hugs to all of you out there. P.S. I do not feel this this tough all the time, but I feel if I say these positive ideas and help others to, and help others to see that too, we can get closer each day to being narc free. Love, Robin. Well, um, that's a very very nice. It's a very very nice message, Robin. And every time you watch a video, every time I make a video, every time want to use comments on somebody's video, talks about it, you're, you're moving forward. As long as you're bringing this out into the public a little bit, a little bit, doing something, you're moving forward. You're moving forward. And that's the important thing, and it's a very, very nice message. And remember, because overall, you're never surprised. It's always, your gut is always telling you what's coming next. So whether it's full no contact or having to wait till they die, I'll tell you this, nothing's going to happen with them in your life. And 
nothing's going to happen if you stop trying to move forward. So, thank you for your contribution. Thank you for your message. I really appreciate it, Robin. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comments section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, or you'd like to set up Skype, a private video or phone call, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. And if there's any questions on that, click the last link in the video when it pops up and that'll take you to the instruction instructional video. Also, don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.